Today, we'll be covering GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. So, what is GERD? GERD is a prolonged exposure of the lower portion of the esophagus to chyme, the partly digested food found in the stomach that contains gastric juices and acidic fluid. To put this into context, it causes the weakening of the epithelium, which is a thin, continuous, protective layer of tissue lining the gastrointestinal tract. GERD is a chronic and relapsing condition which affects 10 to 15% of the population, with a rising prevalence most likely due to obesity. The pathogenesis of GERD, or how the disease develops, is attributed to metaplastic changes of the epithelium. Metaplasia simply means that the tissue has transformed or changed into another type due to an external stimuli. The backflow of acidic chyme causes damage to the epithelium and the esophagus, causing the transition of the stratified squamous epithelium into simple columnar epithelium. The main symptoms associated with GERD include cardinal signs of heartburn, which is a burning sensation in the chest, and regurgitation, where stomach contents are regurgitated into the throat or mouth, causing a burning or sour taste. Other symptoms of GERD include esophagitis, which is a sore inflamed esophagus, bad breath, bloating and belching, and sickness. So how can we treat GERD? Let's take a look at some possible treatment methods. Well, the main treatment for GERD is through proton pump inhibitor drugs, which ultimately aims to suppress acid secretion, turning the stomach environment into a more alkaline one. Proton pump inhibitor drugs, as seen by the Pentagon, irreversibly bind, meaning that it binds permanently to receptor. By doing this, hormones and neurotransmitters cannot bind to the pump, and therefore the pump is inactivated, suppressing acid production and secretion. Other methods of treatment include the use of antacids for intermittent cases of GERD, which helps to neutralize gastric acid. A well-known oral antacid, Gavscon Double Action, contains alginate, which forms a physical barrier at the top of the stomach, preventing regurgitation of acid into the esophagus. Additionally, lifestyle changes can also assist in relieving symptoms of GERD. It is recommended that the head should be raised to limit esophageal reflux during sleep, Alcohol and coffee should be avoided as they may play a role in the relaxation of the muscles at the bottom of the esophagus, and avoiding large amounts of fatty food as this causes a large secretion of stomach acid required to break up food particles and therefore can leak up into the esophagus. Depending on the damage done to the lower esophagus, the surgical procedure fundoplication may be considered as the last option to repair the lower esophageal sphincter to prevent acid backflow. Ultimately, if you experience any symptoms of GERD, it is best to consult your doctor for the best possible treatment. For more information regarding GERD, please see the links below.